And that is 200 Ks. Oh. I did 201 Ks. Rice bubbles in there. Towel fin did good. It All right, here we go. There's tips every vegan should know. I'm just going to do a bit of B-roll here. Uh, some tips every vegan should know. Biggest tip I would say would be make your vegan life easy. You know, meet some meet some friends, hook up with some crew, uh, create websites, create YouTube channels, just so you can hook up with crew, so you can meet crew. Um, look at this hookup we got here. We've got like vegan army. I didn't have a vegan army when I went vegan. I did, there's a, a year before I met another vegan. I'm talking about this in my ebook. There's a year before I met another vegan. So I just created. I was like, where's this vegan cycling army? Where are they? So and I couldn't find them. So I fucking created that. So if you can't find something in life, you got to create it, man. You got to make it fucking happen. So my tip is is hang out with other vegan crew. If you don't know any, inspire motherfuckers to go vegan. Create that reality. Create that reality just like I have. Second tip would be get out there and do some exercise. I love cycling. Cycling is fantastic because you can transport on it. It's good for the joints in its low impact. And bikes are fun to ride. You know, bikes are fun to ride. I talk, I've got thousands of videos about cycling. And it's also fun watching the girls flog the guys up the hills. Look at these carved up vegans spinning to win. So do some exercise. I do recommend cycling because it's not really exercise. You're, you're getting out there, you're getting some fresh air. You get to transport, you get to commute, you get to carry your shopping, you get to go and meet people. So it's not really just exercise. Yeah, cycling make, can make you really fucking fit. It's awesome. You know, out here with Simon here, we just look at lean, you know, like it's just, it's it's incredible sport cycling. It's so social, you get to talk and have banter and see lots of nature, stuff like that. So my tip would be get out there. Another tip would be, uh, while we're talking about cycling, you can sort of hear, we see Natasha's heels, I filmed that. You can sort of see that right heel is sitting out a bit. And so is the left heel. So you attach a bit of ITB uh, inflammation after that. So what we did is we moved the, the cleats in. So always set your bike up with your cleats in uh, towards the crank, all right? So we've got Natasha's heels here. They're sort of pointing out away from the bike. We want to angle the cleats so the heels are in, almost touching the cranks, all right? And then that helps with everything. It helps with everything. There's a spider just walked in my room. Uh, distractions. But yeah, so that's what we want to do. And also spin, you know, Avoid using hard gearing on the bike. Just want to be spinning, keep those legs fluid, and loading the heart and lungs with the cardio effect. All right, that's what we want to do. So spinning. See the girls here, just spinning. Easy effort. Getting out there. Fresh air. In nature. Having fun. And uh, that's what it's about. So cycling is just the best for that. Have your cleats lined up so your heels are in. And uh, that's really good. And get lots of rest and sleep. If your goal is weight loss, then you've got to get a lot of rest and sleep. And, and don't be afraid to lay down in the park. Lay down on the bed, lay down on the bench, lay down at work, under your desk, at school, put some sunglasses on, just fall asleep in lectures. Do whatever it takes to do to get the rest your body needs so your metabolism is healthy. So you find it effortlessly easy to stay slim because your hormones are in good balance. You don't have to starve yourself and you can just be chill like this little doggy here. And that's what we want. We want to have chill vegans who are inspiring other people to go vegan for good inspiration, for good example, and that's what we're looking for. Positive vibes. It sounds sort of woo-woo, but it's true. People who are inspired to go vegan were by inspiration versus, you know, guilt and stuff like that. When they see fit people riding bikes, they're like, hey, I wanna I wanna get on on that. You know, that's how you get people over, you know? <laughs> that's how you get people over. Just seeing fit people riding bikes or people losing a lot of weight, that's what inspires people to go vegan. And lots of fruit. I do recommend vegans eat a lot of fruit. You know, fruit for breakfast is my I've got some grapes next to me here. And we've got Subway. Subway does vegan options here in Australia. I'm not sure what country you're in, but ring up your local Subway uh, head office in whatever country you're in and ask them. Same with Domino's Pizzas. Domino's do vegan pizzas here in Australia. So we're making this vegan life real easy, aren't we? We're getting outdoors. We're getting social. We're getting amongst it. We're inspiring other people. And wherever we're at, start wherever you're at and keep going forward. And that's all, that's all it takes, man. It's like the story of Ferrari and Lamborghini. Um, this is my holiday car here. I don't can't fit too many bananas in there, so I just leave this one at home most of the time. I left my helmet in the car. But seriously, just troll a bit, have a bit of fun, inspire motherfuckers to go vegan, and uh, that's how we're getting it done, man. Just inspiration nation. Uh, have a good day. Uh, if you got any vegan questions, hit them up down below. This is the vegan barn me. Tasty, 
tasty stuff. Carbs, carb the fuck up, motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up, corn, rice, potatoes, yams, bananas, mangoes, dates, plantain, melons, blueberries, blackberries, moles. Get them motherfucking carbohydrates in. Go vegan, motherfuckers. Cut the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up.